Alright, how are you all doing, ladies and gentlemen? So, we're here today with episode 8 of Chihaya Furo. And I found it interesting because, like, the last two episodes basically have been focused um, on introducing new members to the team. So, I'm assuming it's going to be the same for this episode that, we're, that this episode is going to focus primarily on introducing new members to the team. We're going to see someone else, we're going to see someone new, they're going to be integrated. We'll see what they're all about. Obviously, Kana being the historian, Desk Tomato uh, being the in a way being very similar to Tai Chi. Like, like in, in the in the view in in the way that he views things, um, obviously Tai Chi views those things in the, in terms of like Chia Fu, uh, sorry not Chia, we use these things in terms of character, and um, Desk Tomu obviously views those uh, views himself views his rival Tai Chi in the terms of just being more gifted and not having to study all that much in his eyes but obviously we'll see what he thinks once he sees Tai Chi once they interact more and once they get to know each other because that's going to be quite an interesting relationship in my opinion we're going to see how that's going to be building but again I think we're just going to be we're just going to be introduced to more and more squad members so let's see what we've got in store this time I'd say I'm assuming, yeah. I like that episode. As I said, we're into getting to more, know more and more members, uh, which, of course, is a great way. And considering that we've already seen him in the past, it's even better in my opinion. Because you know we've had we we have two new members, um, so we're kind of getting the game introduced through their. Oh, it's kind of funny. We're getting the game introduced in episode eight through their eyes, the rules of the game, we're getting that introduced through their eyes, but like we also have the people that are more experienced, so those are like the three right now, that are much more experienced, of course, that actually know how to play the game, um, so we've got Porky, we've got Kanan, we've got Des Tomato, as well as Tai Chi, and obviously Chihaya, so that's going to be the squad for now, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. ah, you know, I actually quite like it. I like it. I like it. I like that we have like this dynamic of like new people and more experienced, more established people. Because again, he was number two. Granted, I've n after a loss, after a big loss, you know, I've never been like, oh, damn, I hate this, I hate that. My my mind has always been like, okay, now what? Now it's time to invest more time in him. Because you know, me investing ten hours a day. What if they invest ten hours a day? That means I need to invest ten, twelve hours a day just so I can catch up. You know, but obviously. Arata himself, he hasn't played the game for a few years now, I think three years they said. Um, so, it's been three years since he since he got his Class A membership, so yeah. So, so three years ago, he was on the level that they're on right now, alright? But he hasn't played in three years, so he's probably still on that level, alright? But, um, the point I'm trying to make here is this. You might be on a, you all might be on the same level as him right now. We don't know. I can't say for sure, but it may be the case. It may be the case. So uh, once you meet him in the future, I don't know when that will be. But once you meet him in the future, we'll definitely, you know, see how you stack up against him now. What I find interesting as well, though, is this: the teacher. What, what, what do you mean uh, resignation? Like, like who resigns from a school activity? Like back when I went to school, right? I joined a club. You showed up, you're like, yeah, can I join a club? And you're like, yeah, sure. And the way you leave the club, you don't show up anymore. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, there was no, you, you didn't have to like sit down, you know, write a resignation like, okay, today here I, Prince, will resign from tennis. The re my reasons being that I can't stand you lot and tennis can't compare to character. I know all the tennis fans right now are outraged and are probably writing some nasty messages to the author, but screw tennis, character for life. Hashtag character for life. No. If I had to do that, I would have never joined a club as a kid. Right? If I had to actually put in a, a, an official resignation, I never would have joined a club, alright? Like, 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 come on, man. Clubs are supposed to be therapeutic. It's supposed to be uh, healthy. It's supposed to be fun. You put, you make, you took, you turn them into any sort of official capability. You know, you t you put them into any sort of official uh, capacity, and you kind of just lose the fun. Granted, I've always liked 
I, I, I'm saying that, but I've always liked the competitive aspect of it. But I don't. I, I wouldn't have joined. I, you don't join a club because you want to be the best. Eh, depends what it is actually. I can't say that you join. You don't, I was gonna say you don't join a club because you want to be the best. You join it because you want to have fun. And then once you're having fun, you want you might want to be the best. But that's actually wrong. That's actually kind of wrong as well. Because I can think of a few instances where I joined something where I was just like, yeah, I want to become the best, and but I didn't become the best. But I joined just for that sole goal, and then I made it fun. Like, like it, I didn't enjoy it at first, but I was like, I want to become good at this. I want to become the best at this. So I'm gonna just keep grinding at it until it becomes fun. It doesn't always happen, granted, but it is one of those things. Now, it's good to see that he's able to keep up with uh, with Chihaya. Now, Taichi at the end obviously did say that uh, you are... Uh, we need you to practice with Chihaya because, uh, quite frankly, I'm not a match for her. Did he mean that literally? I want to see those two go up against each other now. I want to see those two play against each other now, but yeah. But yeah. I like it, actually, that like last episode, we kind of had um, Taichi... With Kana, it was Chihaya. With Kana, it was Chihaya. With Kana, it was Chihaya who kind of pushed him into the club. With uh, Desk Tomato, we kind of had Taichi who, who was able to re reflect himself inside the eyes of Testomo and Tomo was able to reflect himself inside the eye of Taichi. But with, um, with Porky, with Nishida, it kind of feels like it's both. It kind of feels like Tai Chi, because obviously he heard about like the Arita thing, like no matter how good we practice, you'll never beat Arita. But it also felt like it was Shihaya, so like it feels like they both brought in one and a half members in a way. If you wanna, if you wanna look at it like that, which I just find very interesting. Now, is there gonna be one more member right now? They are two, four, five. I believe they said six. Unless I mistook that and it's, they just said five. I could they, I could be wrong here, but I think there might be one more member. I've been going with that assumption the whole time that it's six members. Um, which makes sense because then you have you can have three teams of two go, you know, playing against each other with like one city or something. But hey, we'll see. We will see. I'll, I'll, I will see you all later tonight. Mean, actually, I wonder if the plot comes back that like Jihaya is falling asleep in class. I wonder if that's going to be coming back because obviously the Empress saw her and the Empress sees that Chihaya is trying to recruit members so who knows that might be coming back in the future that might be a plot point that her like her grades start going back and bad and she has to like focus on school which is how Taichi and um Taichi and Desk Tomu will help her out that she will get better grades at school and then she'll help them out with Karuta I, I'm not I'm just speculating here, of course, but hey, I might be totally off here. Who knows? Regardless, folks, that was episode 8. I'll see you all in Jetman for episode 9. Until then, everyone, have a nice day. Peace out, and...